Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. I'm the World's Address. We're playing Surviving the Aftermath. And... I guess we just need to continue growing. Keep exploring and, and doing all of that. You go do that. I want you to check this place out. Ripper's Lair. Destroy this bandit camp to reveal locations in this sector. Alright, well, you're next there, buddy. As soon as I can get back to it, bandit camps. Oh, okay. Bandit camps are organized bandit societies. The sectors with bandit camps are fully under hostile control, and other locations in the sectors remain hidden until the bandit camp is destroyed. This can be done by attacking them with specialists, but defeating them requires more combat skill than defeating small, scattered gro uh, bandit groups. Oh. I might have to have Makita help. Maybe? She's the fighter. Platy's a, uh, a scavenger. But Makita's the fighter. figure it out. Alright. What we really need is more people. We need these children to grow up. I need to level up or something. There is leveling up in this game, right? I have forgotten. Uh, statistics. Can we see what's up? So far we've survived for 11 days. One catastrophe. No deaths. Two visited. Two uh, groups given refuge. I think we're doing okay. Now, what we really need is better shelters, but I don't know how to do that yet. I don't think any of this is particularly useful at present. Uh, really what it is is that I need science points. And in the tech tree, let's take a look at the tech tree because I haven't really done that yet. Communal eating. Cookhouse and logging camp boost food production. Ooh, the cookhouse creates and distributes nutritious meals prepared from raw food ingredients. Oh, that would be a good thing to have. We'll only check out the first one in each. Energy production. Getting the power back on is a major step toward rebuilding civilization. Solar panels and wind turbines provide clean energy in small quantities. They require parts and components to be built. Both can be found by scavenging locations in the world map. Produce energy. Solar panels work only during the day, but wind turbines operate day and night. So I'd probably bump up a couple of wind turbines around. In the colony, there's communal living. That would be nice. A tenement would honestly be pretty good. Getting people out of tents and into better housing takes some planning. Tenements house several people within the same cramped up space. A shanty gives more space per colonist, but is more costly to build. Both of these buildings are safer than tents and emergency shelters, and give a better production against radiation. Start decorating the colony with modest flowers. Now, I could decorate the colony now. I don't know, however, what that, like, I don't know what that does. General storage. Valuable goods deserve a proper place to be stored. A general storage is a converted and reinforced shipping container able to withstand the elements and thieves alike. Stores all resources that can be stored in food storage or in a warehouse. Ah, that would be nice. This is what we really need, though, this, in this hazmat engineering, because this gives us the environmental station. Clearing heavily polluted soil without proper equipment is a death sentence. An environmental station provides the means to clear pollution deposits and store the waste into a nuclear waste storage. That's what we need. And then in exploration, uh, bartering. Your colony is not the only one in the world. Other societies are still out there and willing to exchange goods once you have built a trading center to coordinate these transactions. Trade offers can be managed from the trade menu. Delightful. I know, everybody's mad because they don't have good houses. I don't have any science right now. 
What are we looking at for food? Mm -hmm. Hello, Mason. Hi. Hello, Alexander. Okay, production has started. I've got two carriers, ten workers, for a total of twelve adults. I absolutely need these children to grow up. We're going to speed things up a little bit. Because right now, I've built what I can build. So, we're actually going to go super fast. And maybe move the day along a little bit. We'll kind of come at it from a, this angle. Or maybe... Yeah, that angle. I can see a little bit more of what's going on at, a, at an interesting angle. But there's not much I can do right now. Everybody's sort of doing their thing. The colony is running the way that it's supposed to be running. Now, Makita. What? Alright, Platy. Please don't die. Okay. Uh, heck, Platy, I think you might get it. You might be able to knock this dude out, no problem. We'll find out. Brooklyn is now an adult. Yes! Mm -hmm. Hi, Brooklyn. Congratulations on growing up. Now you get to work. And your happiness will slowly drain. <laughs> uh, plank deposit has been depleted. Alright, let's see what we can do about that. That's this one. Let's move the work. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, this one. Let's move that work area to include these guys. Rabbit season? Oh, heck yeah! Three colonists explain they've been working on a new kind of trap for hunting rabbits and their group wants to set them outside the camp. Yeah, man, do it! Kick rocks. The group finally returns, looking absolutely miserable and exhausted. Dang. The rabbits didn't fall for the traps, and rummaging through the polluted ground seems to have left a few of the colonists quite sick. So, they've got radiation sickness. I would imagine that it'll be okay, though. There we go. And the specialists are ready for action again. Do we whoop them? Okay, so we've got more rippers here. Ooh, they've got... What are that? What's that? But they've got components. That's fantastic. Uh, go back in here and do this thing. We'll get the rest of this. And it's now empty. That's empty. That's still got parts. And that's still got tools. Alright, that's fine. Alright, these guys are doing their thing. They're being treated. It would be it would make more sense if they one went to each instead of both going to the same. But what do I know? They'd both get treated at the same time. If that happened. I love my little flag. Let's take a little look at my dead rat on a stick flag. I'm very happy with it. I think it's awesome. <sighs> Colonist Grace is the only one that's irradiated now. Everybody's pretty unhappy. Oh, the small concrete one is done. Okay. Good job, guys. Ooh. Pretty much all ready to go. Got some more ruins elsewhere. That's still going okay, though. Alright. <clears throat> Let's keep this up, guys. Platy, kick his butt. Good job, Platy. You may not be much of a fighter, Platy, but you are kicking butt and taking names. Am 
my stockpile should already be... yeah. Okay, good. <gasps> this cannot be ignored. A massive mutated deer is stalking around the gate, more than two meters tall and four meters in length. Holy crap. That's a six foot tall... 12 foot long deer? Holy crap. It's looking very, def uh, very, very aggressive. It would be safest to just shoot it with bows, but trapping it first would ensure that all of its meat will be left unspoiled. Now, if I was hurting for food, I would trap it. But I'm not. So I'm shooting it. <laughs> Tell the colonists to shoot the deer. A couple of crude hunting bows are brought to the gate. Arrow hits the deer in the torso, but it doesn't go down. The deer rams its antlers against the gate. Another arrow goes in, then another, and another. Finally, the deer goes down. The deer now looks more like a porcupine with juices leaking from its intestines, and a good portion of its meat is ruined. And that's fine, because I still have a lot of food. The one thing that I don't that I'm not really worried about on this is food. Okay. Heck yes. Nice. Makita brought back, um, metal, I believe. Yeah. Fantastic. And she's back in town for a little bit. We're just going to keep the game moving really, really quickly right now. Because, well, there's nothing more that I can build. And honestly, there's nothing more that needs built. Needs built. I'm doing really good right now in terms of what I've got going on. Two more colonists are adults now. Which means I can come up here and have a colonist be a tailor and a colonist hit up the tool shop and still have three people doing stuff. All right, that's gone. That might legitimately be an issue. Yep. All right, let's move the work area to butts. <laughs> Let's move the work area to here. <laughs> Pollution deposits. Right. The post-apocalyptic landscape still holds some scars from the cataclysm. These pockets of pollution are unpredictable, and occasionally they might burst out toxic radioactive material around them, causing harm to colonists and buildings alike. So, building near them comes with a risk. However, pollution deposits can be cleared and the waste stored safely further away from the colony. For that purpose, unlock the hazmat engineering technology in the security branch of the tech tree. This unlocks the environmental station and the nuclear waste storage buildings. I need science for that to even be a thing. Yeah. you figure okay. out what's going on there? What have you found? Ooh, a camping site. Nice. Fantastic. The large concrete deposit is finally... Ooh. Hey, oh, cool. A group of survivors. I met with a delirious man on the way here. He kept swearing he had seen people looking at him through the invisible wall, observing. Hmm. Two adults and a child bringing in quite a bit of supplies for me. And we get Sobek, which is a, an Egyptian deity. One of the Egyptian gods. That's the... Alligator? I think that's the alligator-headed god in uh, Egyptian mythology. Even after years of academia, he managed to put his economic knowledge 
back into practice. More surprisingly, he hasn't been saddened by seeing his entire field of study go up in flames. Instead, he feels excited by the opportunity to start fresh, unburdened by the old system. Now, he's good at exploration. That's nice. He's okay at attacking. And he's okay at research. We're going to go ahead and accept him. We got a couple of injured colonists. Those look like the kids, maybe. That's fine. I need a concrete extractor for that. And now I have three. Oh, you're not ready yet. You are, though. Sobek, if you could be so kind as to scout science. Oh, here we go. Research three, research two, research three. Sobek is going to be the one to go do a science. There's 300 science points in this thing. Oh, that's great. Platy will make her way back. She could do them too. Perfect. Colonist Savannah is injured. I should have one tent left. That one. All right, I can house one more person. Let's slow it down just a little bit. We'll slow it down to double speed as opposed to triple. This has been this has been good so far. Two hundred science. Oh, fantastic! Sobek, you are awesome. Fantastic! You're coming back with that. She's going to be scavenging components for a while, and that's fine. Let's hit up this tech tree. Now, I've got 200 science points. Colony-wise, I want to do communal living. Security-wise, I want to do general storage. And then there we go. Now, general storage would go good. right about there really and truly it should go there no it's warehouse and food storage oh that would have been bad that would have been real bad all right let's demolish this And then we'll build general storage right like there. And we'll make it the highest of priorities. Let's go ahead and maybe build minor happiness bonus. How is this thing that I've got going on up here working? Ooh, underground plastic. Nice. So this is reforesting while this is deforesting. Oh, I can move the work area. Oh. Well, hell, let's do that. That way they're literally, like, right on top of each other. Oh, Colonist Finley. That's not good. And general storage is... Done. 
I shouldn't have to build an additional warehouse. I have general storage now. That's good for everything. Why, why is it telling me this? I don't want to build an additional storage warehouse. Tools, clothes, meds... Alright, fine. I guess. I thought for sure that's what this did. Allowed resources. Yeah, it's, you know, all of this stuff. Whatever. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Okay. Um... still doing everything you can with what you've got right here. Now, I want to build a tenement. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get rid of some of this stuff first. There, I guess. Have fun. I don't see why I need this when it's the same thing as this general storage. That was the whole point of it, is it combined, like, the crap... I guess maybe it doesn't, but whatever. Planks are gone. Oh, uh-oh. That one's almost gone. Okay. Let's build a house. It's got eight slots, which is... I, you know what? Just build it right here. Hello, little Elizabeth. How close are you to being an adult? I don't know. But I have five... There are five children. I'm keeping the middle area kind of open, I guess. No real reason. Just because... Be another 137. Good job. You hit up this area too. There are 13 left. She's got 32. I don't have any components, so that's going to be real helpful. Once components become a thing, I guess. I, I don't really know. How are you doing all the way out here, buddy? Which one are you? Huh? Grace, how are you doing in the fishing, uh... Grace, you're not the person on this thing. It is real nice out here, though. You don't have to deal with anybody. There's only a little bit of nuclear waste all around everything that you would be able to touch. All right, never mind. How are we doing on food? We're doing okay. Our production and our consumption are getting close. That's not good. There we go. Okay, so the tenement is done. So let's demolish. Two, four, six. I'm actually going to demolish this as well. Planks are done. Hi there. Hello, Harper. It's lovely to meet you. Okay. That'll do. Now that we're making our own planks, it's not as imperative to constantly be looking for them.
Ah! Specialists are not invincible. They can get hurt in combat against bandits or when they encounter hazards while scavenging and researching locations. Healing can only be done in the colony. To heal injured specialists, order them to travel back to the colony. They start to heal automatically along the way. Their recovery speed depends on how badly they're injured and how high their recovery value is. More information about healing values are found in the specialist skill chapter. And that's fine, we'll bring Platy back. She's been gone a long time. What you find? Components. Oh! And a place! Very nice. Very nice. Please go pick these up. You'll be bringing home quite a few things. Alright, so on Platy's next deal, she's gonna come home. I don't think there's a way to just, like, push a button and make her do it, but that's fine. I actually think I can get rid of this, too. And literally build another tenement. Right there. Small concrete is done. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, so once all of this is cut down... I'll leave the forester to replant, and I'll just move it everywhere. Planks we're doing good on. What are we what are we not doing good on? Production versus consumption, we're at half. That's not too terrible. We're also at half consumption versus production of food. That's not the greatest. this fishing work every X amount of time we get two fish I'll tell you what it couldn't hurt to give you a friend huh okay platy head home Don't you scavenge that Now that's empty. Good. Platy's the only one that's injured. She was my first survivor, though. Or my first specialist, rather. She's doing pretty good. She's just injured. There, I got two houses. So what I'm going to do is demolish. 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 I'm going to get rid of all of the tents at some point. Seven of eight. Ah, oh, come on. I've already done Pandemic once. Pandemic. <laughs> All right. Damn, I got rid of that extra one. You know, I don't think I'll need it. I've got more people now is the, is the main issue that I'm going to come across here. So I will build one more. Oh, hey, Wandering Merchant. Hey, it's this guy. Ah. I could get a seed for... I've got a lot of... What is that even meant to be? Hmm. A van screeches to a stop some ways outside your gate. The vehicle obviously belongs to a trader, but is suspiciously empty. I got something special today for you, wonderful specimens of humanity. How about we barter, huh? Hey, you know what? Why not? A seed wouldn't be a bad thing to have. Thank you for this commercial opportunity. I'll be sure to visit again soon, the trader shouts as he packs the van and drives away. So I got a seed. P3 
People are happier now. Look at that. People are gonna get happier because of this. That's a tent. Kill it. Madison's now an adult. Come on home. Come on home. You're not done, though. You're doing good, buddy. You're doing good. We'll have all three specialists home before soon, before long. All right. Let's go ahead and build another tenement. I'm thinking... I'm thinking if we keep things uh, very much like that. We keep the tenements, you know, one, two, three, four. Four and eight, that's 24 people. That'll be two extra spots. That might not be a bad plan. Keep them kind of close, you know? Now, I don't know how well, like, I, I don't know if that will affect the pandemic. I doubt it. But you never know, right? How's this doing? If I were to move the work area... Just to there, maybe. It doesn't change the efficiency or anything. It just thought it might work a little bit better. All right, these guys seem to be working a heck of a lot faster. Now, a thing that I also kind of want to do is maybe build... Whoa. There we go. Platy. Come home. Okay. And Makeda... Why don't you check this out? Ah ha ha ha! A nomad camp. Alright, that'll be next. Makeda hasn't had to fight anybody yet. Oh, that's my tailor. Let's not destroy that. We're going to kill some tents, though. Five of eight, six of eight, six of eight, two, four. That one's full. Fantastic. Now, everybody in the colony... Oh, I can't spell. We are getting low on food. How are we getting low on food? I'm producing way more than we're consuming. How does that work? How does that work? That's not what this says. We are low on food, though. Okay, so... Oh, 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 it's because I don't have any more berries. Are there closer berries? Shucks. Okay, hold on, group of survivors. Go do that. Hey, guys. We saw the strangest thing on the way here. Some kind of a boot camp in the middle of the woods. I wonder what it was for. Roberts. He has a brilliantly analytical and practical mind, which he never ended up finding a proper avenue for. After being driven to scavenging out of pure necessity, he found his brain to be quite useful in it. Being able to scan through junk effectively can make all of the difference. Now, this is probably going to be the last one that I take in. We're going to accept them. We're going to build one last tenement. Right there. And 
that's going to be the very last one that we bring in until we can um, increase some stuff. A couple more fields wouldn't be amiss. Right? Build some more fields. I still want everything kind of close, and I'm probably going to do some more fields in through here, but I've got eight people that can do something. This episode is running a little bit long, by the way. Sorry. There we go. Now, nobody is without a home. And everybody should be doing pretty good. Reconstructions are finished. Okay, so potatoes grow slowly but produce a nice harvest. Potato. Carrot. So I have uh, potatoes, corn, potatoes, carrots. Uh oh. What's up with the fishing spot here? What's uh what's up with that, huh? That's a warehouse. Food storage is dangerously low. Okay. That's fine. We should maybe build another food storage. Can I... Can I do that? Yeah, I can. And what we're gonna do is... Damn, here comes the pandemic. Alright, I got six extra people. Uh, once the pandemic is over this time, we will... Uh, there we go. Three extras. Once the pandemic's over, we'll go ahead and do uh, the end of the episode. Platy, if you don't mind. Good job, good job. Platy, I need you back up there. You, I will take to go in this direction. You will continue to do what you're doing. It's not quite empty, but it will be next time. Wonderful. Now, we're low on food. We need more water production. where we're getting Ooh lord Okay, let's get this down to regular speed. Hello hooded figure. A man approaches the gate dressed in a beaten old trench coat burying his face inside a large hood. He remains tight-lipped about his exact origins or motives, but offers to join the colony and help out work as a scientist. He's constantly looking over his shoulder while talking and seems overall nervous. Well, why don't you come into my pandemic-stricken world for a little while there, scamp? Yeah, let's see what you got. Oh. As soon as you open the gate, the wanderer bolts towards the closest pile of food. 
He tucks some into his trench coat pockets and rather nimbly slides between the closing gates before the flabbergasted guards can react. With outstanding pace, astounding pace, the hooded figure vanishes into the winds. Skip event result, debug failsafe. I don't have a debug mode on, but that's the thing that's happened now, so sorry about that, I guess. Someone is irradiated? Mm-hmm. Why are you... Brooklyn, why are you irradiated? And why aren't you going into the... the damn tent? Could you please do what you're supposed to? Ridiculous. Alright, back to the world map. You! Here, please. Okay. Sobek, one last uh, trip into the breach, please. Thank you. Platy, head on. And Makita, kick this guy's butt. Just like that. <gasps> Science. Alright, he's going to come back. And then he will immediately come down here to get more science. This is fantastic. It'd be a hell of a lot better if maybe stuff wasn't going so crap in the colony, but... Mm -hmm. Seriously, Brooklyn, could you please... You were ridiculous. Alright, I do need to build... We'll call it one more small field. Right there. We've got more people. There are only four children left, so that's interesting. I wonder if people get old and die. Children grow up. I'm not going to be letting in anybody else anytime soon. Four colonists are infected. I'm, I'm still good. We're still good. Two occupants, zero occupants, zero occupants. Two colonists infected. Completed food storage. go that'll help all right you know what this is a perfect place to end it boom right here so that's going to do it for this episode guys we are in the middle of a pandemic we've got two infected colonists we have built better places to live which has been the best and i think we got general storage was the other one right we did food Communal... Did we do communal eating? No. We did colony. We did communal living and general storage. The very next thing that I'm doing is this hazmat engineering. And if I can, communal eating. Because I think that might be a good idea. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Also, leave a comment down below and I will change a survivor to you. If you like. So let me know that, and uh, let me know if you if I'm doing anything wrong, or if there are better ways that I could be doing something. I'd also like to know that. I This is the most that I've ever played this game so far, these episodes that you guys have seen. I have played zero of it on my own. Everything that you see me doing is what I am doing. Like, it's all I've done. I've not played this any extra, so there's that. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. And as always, I'm the world's address. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.